some point you have probably wondered if it could be possible to see like in Iron Man or Ready Player One. Seems like we are pretty interested on the idea that you could possibly enhance your own vision and go above the human capabilities. So the idea originated from my dad making a solar heater and I, I was wondering how efficient it was but I couldn't monitor the temperature with looking my monitors so I made this So the first version was powered by Arduino Nano but as we all know it isn't that capable of a device so I had to change it for a faster one. So for the display I fortunately had this generic SD7789 display laying around and luckily it is supported by the FBCP library. Okay so firstly you need an operating system and you can install that with Raspberry Pi Imager and while that's going on you need to modify the display a bit if you have the same display as I do. So first unsolder the display cable and then scrape the marked area and after that you need to resolder the cable and solder a cable to the pin that you scrape the ground plane off. And after that you need to connect the display to the Raspberry Pi and if you don't have a million HDMI adapters laying around you might have to follow this guide on how to set up the Raspberry Pi without using a monitor. So what you need to do is to after the uh, Raspberry Pi OS has installed, you need to create a SSH file with, without extensions and then you need to create a VPA supplicant.com file. Here you can specify the country and here you need to specify your SSID and your password and make sure that the Wi-Fi that you are connecting is 2.4 GHz because the Raspberry Pi doesn't support 5 GHz networks. Okay, so now you need to put the SD card in and hopefully it'll work just fine. Let's try it. Next thing you need to log in as Pi and the password is Raspberry. <coughs> now you need to download the drivers by using the command git long and the uh, link to the driver. And some of you probably have to install the git and you can do that by writing it sudo apt install git and after that you should have the latest version of the git installed another thing that you need to install is the cmake and you can install it by writing sudo apt install and cmake okay, so next you need to build the library and you do that by going into the display drivers directory and then you need to create a folder for example test bits could be anything that you liked and then you go into the directory and run these commands and if you need some statistics take this and this out and uh, change this to 30 or something i'll put that command in the description if you need it after that done you need to make it by writing make dash j so now if you have everything correct you should be able to run it with sudo dot slash the binary name and, and after running this command you should be seeing the initialization sequence on the display and after that you should see the Raspberry Pi desktop. Okay, so if you want to use i3, so I'm using in this case, you firstly need to run sudo raspis as config and go into system options and then boot slash out login and enable the desktop option and with this you can change the display moniker on the startup and now you need to install the Axel i3 if you need want to use this and you can install it by some sudo apt install i3 and window manager and hit enter after that's done and you need to reboot the device by writing sudo reboot now and it will start rebooting itself. Okay, so now you need to connect a mouse to the Raspberry Pi, click here and select i3. After that you can log in as usual. After that's done you need to run the Raspberry config again and select system options. Put less auto login, is good of auto login, and now you are done with the keyboard thing and you can trip the keyboard out. And if you still need more speed, you can always turn to overclocking. Just make sure that you understand what you are doing and 
Make sure that you understand that this will void the warrant. So I use these settings and you should be fine with using them, but just make sure that you have enough cooling. Okay, so the choices isn't that easy to design because everybody has different kind of glasses and some people don't even use glasses, so, so basically it's up to you to design the choices fit your own glasses or maybe build even your own glasses. I'm sure that you can build your own pretty easily because I, I made my own from scrap lenses, cardboard, some PLA and screen protector films. So uh, that's pretty much it and I hope that you got something out of this video. If nothing else, then, then motivation. I hope that you have a great day and don't hesitate to ask any questions or share your own designs in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye.